Hello parents, it's Sarah Hernandez, the Vice Principal at LISM. We are very excited to be introducing Google Classroom at LISM. Based on parent, student, and teacher feedback, we believe that this is the best way moving forward to help with the systematic organization of submissions and a really easy platform to use where everything is there, assignments, overviews, recordings, and everything for your student on one platform. Right now, I'm gonna take you through how to log in and a few basics for Google Classroom. We are looking to integrate this over the next two weeks. So if you have any questions about your login, ask your teacher or any additional questions, please contact your teacher or IT. So I'm first gonna show you how to log in on a computer. I'll go over how to log in on your phone or a device in a bit. So first you're gonna take the username and the password that is emailed to you. It's gonna have a username and password for your child's Google Classroom login. You're going to put the information in and log in. From here, it's really important to note that the class that you would like, you should be joining is going to pop up. It's really important that you click join. If you click decline, you'll have to have your teacher send you another invite. So you'll go ahead and click join and make sure it's the correct homeroom. If anything is not right there, simply contact your teacher on Class Dojo. And remember, Google Classroom is going to be where we do all of our academic submissions. Class Dojo is still going to be used for as a form of communication between parents and teachers. So as you see here, this is the Google Classroom homepage. This stream is going to act exactly like Google Classroom and everything that goes on for your child will be posted here. Now, the reason we're switching to Google Classroom is to organize things. So if you want everything a little bit more organized, you're gonna click on classwork and you'll see over here to the left, all of the different subjects that your child has. Along with subjects, you're also going to see a tab for recordings. Now, we're going to make sure all recordings that, for, particularly for distance learning students, will be right here on the actual Google Classroom for the student. If you are in a cohort X and Y blended learning, then you will not have a recording tab because your child is in session at that time. One thing that's important to note is that the way our overviews are set up is that there is a submission for every single block and subject. So for example, right here where you have math, yes, it is a live Zoom lesson. So you will have your live Zoom there, the link, but the math PowerPoint is also there because you will go through that. So if you click on your math PowerPoint, you're gonna see that in this lesson, the students are actually going to have to complete this ag activity. And you'll see right here, it's double digit edition. And so they will complete this in their book and then they will take a picture and upload it. And like I said, we're looking for ways so you, to upload the PowerPoint. So all you have to do is literally write on the PowerPoint and submit that. But you have to note that in Class Dojo, you created a post for your submission. You can create the submission, done. Class Google Classroom, what's different is that you will click on the exact assignment now. So if this was math lesson two, you'll click on Math Lesson 2 Assignment and submit it there. So for example, that specific assignment, you're gonna see on Math, Term 1, Week 8, Math Lesson 1. That exact assignment is gonna go right here. You're gonna click on it, take your picture, do whatever you need to complete the assignment. Then you're gonna add, create, file, and that's where you're going to upload it. And remember we said, you're going to have to press turn in whenever you're done. Now, once you submit that assignment, it's done for that day. So now I'm gonna take you through the same process, except on a device. Now, the first step you're going to do is you're either gonna to go to your app store or your marketplace, and you're gonna download Google Classroom. From there, you're gonna to get to this screen. You're gonna see Get Started. You're gonna click on Get Started, Add Account, and then this is where it's going to ask for your credentials. Now, same process as last time, you're gonna type in your username 
and your password of your child that was emailed to you directly from IT. And again, if you don't have that, let your teacher know on Dojo. And then you're going to get into your account. Now, remember, this process is the exact same as we discussed earlier, except now you're on your device. So same as last time, you're going to see your class here. So let's say, for example, 1B Cohort X, and you're going to click Join. When you click Join, you'll have access, just like we previously talked about, to that classroom. And now on here, you're going to have your stream, just like we talked about on the desktop. And on the stream is where everything will go for that student. And if you click on classwork, that's where you're going to see all the different assignments and the classes. So for example, here's Arabic social studies. It's going to be the same setup as last time, term one, week two, to understand what assessment your child should be submitting. So from here, for example, I want to submit an assignment. I click on it just like we did on the desktop version. You're going to see the assignment right here. At the top, you're going to see that you can actually write on it and submit it from there. But if you look right here, you're going to see that you can upload a picture of the actual work by clicking plus add attachment. Once you click on there, you're going to see that you can upload a file or you can take a picture or record a video. It's very, very similar to Class Dojo. You click what you need to do, you upload, and from there, it's gonna be the same setup, and you're gonna to have to make sure that you click Turn In. Once you've attached it, you're then gonna click on Turn In, and that is exactly what's gonna give the assignment to the teacher.